All right, so we were just talking about style and LaBelle style. How important is style to you, and how would you describe your own style? Um, well, it depends. Um, I, my my own style, I guess, is a little like bush punk. You know, <laughs> what is that? <laughs> like I've got African bush or flat bush? African bush. Uh, <laughs> Got to be the you know, the nowadays. Modification, and you know, I, I definitely like to incorporate. The, I often find myself wearing red, black, and green a lot, which is kind of funny. <laughs> <laughs> but um, and um, because I don't really try, and I'm like, oh, because those are the colors I actually like. Mm -hmm. And I don't have a black thing because of New York. It's more because. I often find myself wearing colors, but they're not Western. It's like if I'm wearing some some Indian fabric or some fabric from West Africa, I'll have colors galore. But I think it was just about the dyeing process in the West that wasn't so appealing to me. Those colors weren't vibrant enough. So it's not that I'm like that New York wear black all the time person. Right. If I saw, and right now, people are definitely borrowing from the East in dyeing techniques right now. So they have that green that I really like. They have the red that I like. You know, so I'll wear more colors. Um, Aren't that, your piercings though part of your personal style? Oh, definitely. Mm -hmm. so I was saying like that's what I was saying body modification. Yeah, okay. And you know I like this, my cowrie shell belts. You know, and I'll mix the cowries up with a spike belt or whatever. Mm -hmm. But in terms of performing, mm -hmm. my my you know I have vision just like how I hear my music, um, and I'm inspired to write the music. I'm inspired to wear a certain outfit. Like there'll be themes and stuff. I have themes for everything. Today. What's the theme for tonight? Um, I guess it's like sexy ringmaster and burlesque kind of okay. vibration. So, okay, that's a good good point to uh, jump to the next question. We're talking about LaBelle. And I remember growing up, my mom loved them, but she would be like, they're very raunchy, though, you know. Don't tell. It was kind of like, I like them, but like, let's not put it on blast that I like them because they are kind of raunchy. They're kind of like out there. They're kind mm -hmm. of flagrant. Like, do you get that same type of feedback? And what do you think about that about whole, like, do? labeling mm -hmm, about um, the usually no, sexual, um, your sexual, you know, as of late, As of late, I've been more expressive of my, in, in terms of, like, really just allowing myself to, to move however it is. I mean, it's not sexual to mm -hmm. me. It has so much to do with the music, so it's sensual, because I'm hearing things, and the sounds make me want to move a certain way. Mm -hmm. So I don't really find it sexual, um, but of course you're perform in front of an audience and they might be projecting that onto you or, mm -hmm. you know, your movement might trigger something in them. So it's not something you consciously think about in terms of putting it in your performance. Like, you're a belly dancer, so don't belly dancers consciously think about being sexy and being sensual? Definitely not. Ah. The movement is originated in, in births. Like, a mm -hmm. lot of the movement is stuff you have to do to rock the baby down mm -hmm. and, okay. or, or to stimulate the baby inside in an educational kind of way, like whether it's like stomach pulses, baby kicking, or undulation, the baby moving around inside of you. So that's just a total Western misconception. Okay. Um, you know, seeing a, a woman move, a woman with beautiful hips move, is going to be, it's probably going to inspire some emo emotion in people, but it's not like that's the point. That's like the, the genesis of the, <laughs> the thing. Right, um, right. And for me... I guess I'm getting more comfortable because I didn't really use my body so much at a certain point. When I was younger, and I was in like, you know, the whole hardcore scene, I used my body in a very masculine, aggressive, and macho way. And then I started coming into my own, but I kind of petered off a bit. And now I'm just like, whatever comes, let it, let it flow. <laughs> you know? So I finally got to that place where everything is pretty much being incorporated. But again, it's not a plan, it's just about... I, well, all I plan is to be open okay. in that moment, is to like leave all my troubles at the, the, the curtain and just let it flow. Right. So what's up for Tamar Kali um, in 2008 going into 2009?